Hi, welcome to Threat Track Essentials. I'm here this week with John Hogaboom. How are you, John? Good, Don. Thanks. Okay, let's talk about the stories you guys covered this week. You brought us a story about a vulnerability that allowed for local privilege escalation. Tell me about it. Uh, yeah, so uh, the guys at Qualys have uh, discovered a local privilege escalation vulnerability uh, in and it's actually most flavors of Linux. That's why I find it very interesting. This is pretty pervasive. It should be across all the major versions of Linux that are out there. Um, and it's been in those, it, you know, it's been around actually this vulnerability in versions all the way back to 2009. So for about 12 years, this has been a vulnerability. Uh, so anything that hasn't patched, you know, um, as recently as uh, this month, is going to be vulnerable to it probably, you know, because you know, going back nine years, all those versions are vulnerable. So it does require you to be have local, you know, um, access to the machine. But still, the fact that it's so pervasive across so many different um, uh, vendor versions of Linux makes me concerned that you know, uh, there's a high probability for it being used out there in the wild. And uh, exploit code is available, you know, out there on GitHub and whatnot. So it's definitely um, it works, and it's very simple piece of code to execute. So your advice to people would be what? Patch, patch immediately. Um, you know, you know, identify what platforms you have and get a patch out because most of the major vendors, I believe, have all uh, pushed out a patch this month for this vulnerability. Well, you just said patch immediately. We probably say that about a story every week on Threat Track, but Manny brought us a story about. Not so easy as it sounds, right? There, um, you have to consider a lot of different things about patching in terms of uh, risks. Tell me about the, his story. Right. Yeah, Manny had a good uh, point of view uh, on his story. You know, a lot of people uh, with these vulnerabilities that come out, there's a CVSS score that's attached to it that kind of like states how easy is this um, to exploit. Let's, for lack of a better term. Um, but when you, you know, people shouldn't be jumping um, like crazy on every single vulnerability that comes out with a really high CVSS score, because you kind of need to take it in yourself, triage it and figure out, do I even have this running in my environment? First of all, if I do, how widespread is it? You know, what parts of my company do I have this deployed in? Is it exposed to the internet? Uh, those things. Um, you know, so there's a lot of factors that I think come into play depending on your overall kind of security posture as a business that would inform your decision as to whether or not, even though this particular vulnerability has a really high risk score, whether or not it's likely to be exploitable in your environment, um, you know, based on how much of you have it deployed or not at all, uh, to determine whether it's something that you really should get, um, you know, everybody all all into battle stations to, to work on it. Uh, so I thought it was a good, good point of view. So it's a lot more complicated than it may seem at first. There's a lot more nuance to it. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of nuance. You need to kind of assess it for yourself and your particular environment to determine whether or not it's a real big risk or not. Great. Well, thank you for all that great insight, John. And thank you all for watching. To keep up with great insight like this, please like and subscribe below. And if you want to take a deeper look at any of these stories, click on them and you can watch them in their entirety. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.